Oh my, like I just got here in January. It definitely has flown by, but uh, it's been good though. Um, missed some up and down, it's been a little roller coaster, but finally got it moving in the right direction. So excited for what's next. I take it this has been a good move for you. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I just had another conversation outside. Uh, it's been a blessing. Um, I just give a lot of thanks to Coach Kleiman, uh, him and his family just welcoming me in, welcoming me in, and the team as well with opening arms. Man, it's been a family atmosphere since I got put on campus. So definitely happy with my decision. Like after the game, definitely a place that you would recommend to others, maybe in the same spot. Oh, for sure. I might need to get on Twitter do some recruiting for a lot of guys <laughs> out there. Uh, definitely corners, man. Uh, Coach Glennon is going to put you in a lot of positions uh, to make some plays. So uh, you want to play football, you play fast, physical. With a, with a great defense, but I say K State's the place. How much faster is the defense played as the season has endured? Oh, a lot faster. I guess you can probably just see it on film. Guys are out there playing with confidence, playing with swagger, um, and flying around. And that just helps everybody. Playing with that effort uh, it definitely makes a tremendous uh, difference when you're out there playing with that type of intensity. And teams see that on film, so it definitely plays a factor. Mm -hmm. What do you see that's made Echo so successful as the season has gone along? Man, he's just. He's, <laughs> Echo is so athletic, it's, it's ridiculous. And um, definitely since I've gotten here all the way back in January from the spring to fall camp to now, he's made some tremendous jumps. And I'm extremely proud of him. And um, he's a good football player. He just makes plays. And uh, you never really see him just get beat too often. And uh, that's, that's what makes a good corner. So uh, definitely uh, happy for Echo and see the strides that we continue to make. What did the defense do best uh, against West Virginia when you went back and evaluated everything on film? Um, I would say just keeping those guys uncomfortable, putting some guys uh, in the quarterback space and uh, getting up there and playing some man coverage against them. And um, sometimes you have to get it, play a little bit more bump and run just to make those guys work for it a little bit more and just let them run free. So that's one thing we uh, went to strive on past week uh, as far as our preparation. So. How different of a challenge is Baylor and what they do? Um, Again, another good receiver corp. One to see. We got a lot of good guys. We got a good quarterback back there that can throw those guys the ball. A couple good, pretty good receivers. Long, fast, streaky, like we've seen all year. So we're going to definitely have to be on our A game and uh, just make sure we're staying disciplined, trusting the guy next to you to make their plays, and uh, you know, just make sure that you're on doing your job and you make those plays as well. It almost seemed like a switch flipped in the second half of the Texas Tech game. The defense has kind of been on point since. Is there anything you'd attribute it to? Um, I would just say playing with that confidence. A lot of guys out there playing with swagger, confidence, and uh, like I said, that goes back to uh, just playing fast. When you play fast, uh, you're going to make mistakes, and that's football. But just having that next play mentality and uh, continue to play fast, man, is definitely going to uh, um, pay dividends down the line for other games as well, which has been evident. So.